Welcome back to The Vit Nerd, and today I have a special guest, uh, but they couldn't make it. Instead, I got Ed Possible here. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so, uh, from Mission Ed Possible, uh, another YouTube uh, channel out there. There's a, there's a few hundred YouTube channels. You may have seen few his. Hundred, yeah. yeah, just yeah. a few. Yeah. Uh, I'm almost done with YouTube. I'm in the Z's. Okay. So, um, once I'm done with the Z's. So, uh Ed is here today. Uh, we're going to take a look at, uh, well, this is Reverse Eye. And uh, we're not looking at Reverse Eye just because of that, but because it's been modified by Thomas Cherry Homes to work with uh, FujiNet for two player over the internet or internet in your home, whatever. Like, uh, you ever play Doom in the days? Like, you're oh, right yeah. in there. Big time. Oh, yeah. I still dream, I close my eyes, still see it. So. We're going to take a look at that, and um, well, you have something to say on it. Uh, I was thinking about making a game using FujiNet, so we we're like going, okay, let me let me write something while I'm on the road. I have my laptop with me. I'm like, let me just code up a game. And so I thought about using Hangman, and we were going to do that here, but then it just kind of ran out of time. So we're like, let's just take uh, what Thomas had written for Reverse Eve, and let's just show that. So that's oh, I what thought we were doing got. Reverse I. Reverse E. I oh. think that's how I pronounce it. You can you can pronounce it however you want. I don't know. Okay. Either I way. don't know if there's a standards body that says how the what the correct pronunciation of, of reverse well, is. um, Thomas, if if you watch either of our channels, <laughs> please feel free to comment. Um, I think you'll like this, but uh, if reverse I reversey, perhaps it's actually different because it's uh, Fuji not, so it's reversey maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Fuji. whatever. So, yeah, cool. Well, let's uh, get into that. We're gonna try that out and take a look at some of the code. Okay. All right, so we're gonna run reversey here. So let's both run the command here. Ah, I didn't type it right. Okay. So we've uh, got the FujiNets going. We are on the same intranet, which is, you know, the same intranet in the building. And we've got reverse eye on the FujiNet drive. We're just running basic in Atari basic. Now the game is running separately. They're not talking to each other yet. Correct. So you've got yours running here. And I've got my copy running here. And we're going to give the info it wants that uh, Thomas Cherry Holmes programmed. Reverse, reverse eye normally wouldn't pop up and ask you this, but this is FujiNet reverse eye. So arbitrarily, Thomas, uh, perhaps a joke, for TCP ports over the internet, TCP IP, he just picked 6502. So as it says here, be sure to forward this. If you are trying to do this in your place and somebody on the other part of the country or the world trying to run it on your network card where you need to open that port to let them talk to each other, be careful opening any ports, of course. We don't need to do that here because we're on the same network. And now the software wants to know who's hosting and who's not. Correct. So do you want to host or do you want to... Oh, I'll host. So I'm going to hit okay. enter. And then now I'm going to enter your, your uh, let's see, 192, 168.68, right? 86. 86. I always get that messed up. 86. Dot six. Yep. Okay. And there we go. So the hosting machine, which was mine here, is making that sound whatever time is programmed to kind of tell it it's looking. It's looking for data. It's trying to get a connection. You finally put in the IP address of this, and now they're talking to each other. Right. So I'm player one, Steve. Uh, okay, so I think, who's first? Well, I'm player one. Okay. So uh, I'm black. We oh, black okay. Here. There we go. The black. And then uh, we got black right here. And I'm just going to go up. And. Okay. So if uh, the viewers see there was a delay, mine did it and then sent the data to yours and yours did it. Right. So now I'm going to do it right here. I was in the beeping. Is, yeah. Uh, it's it's kind of interesting. Fun. Yeah. Okay. Delay effect. Oh, I think. Ooh. Am I. No, I'm black. Yep. <laughs> when we did this, I was white. Uh, yeah. Hey, you chose the host. I said, okay, fine. Okay. That's fine. All right. Oh, I 
didn't know you can go through the pieces. I'm, 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 been going, I'm doing circles around them to get to where I want to be. Okay. Uh, how many can I get? Uh, I, can, I don't know if I can get more than one here, can I? Oh, here? No, okay. Okay, this is pretty fun. So again, Thomas, this was a, an example by Thomas Cherry Holmes taking the existing reverse eye basic code and uh, hacking into it and putting in the network, the end device calls that FujiNet then takes care of all that network activity and just passes the code, uh, the info back to the basic code. Right. So uh, once you pop into the code. All right, let's take a look here. I'll go through it a little bit to see, uh, to show you what we got here. So in uh, lines 500 to 600, it has most of this code in here. So, uh, you know, we have the, the intro here um, where it's like, you know, be sure to port, you know, forward the port as we talked about. Uh, and then it's gonna ask if you want to be the, the host or the client. And so if you're the host, it's gonna go into listening mode. If you're the client, uh, you know, it'll actually try to, you have to enter in the IP address and it'll try to make the connection. Uh, around, uh, let's see, line 570, that's when it actually the, creates the device handler uh, string to be able to say this is the, the host name and port that I'm gonna go to. Notice that it ends in the 6502, opens the port, um, and then it tries to make the connection. Uh, if we keep looking at, let's see, 600 to 650, um, this is where it continues on. So then once it makes the connection, depending on if it's the host or the client, then it goes through and type, you know, enter your name and go through player one and player two. Um, and then it actually goes through and then it converts the calls when you're doing a, uh, you know, you hit the button on there and instead of being a uh, local thing, it goes out over the end device to be able to say, hey, this is, this is the, the player one is moving or player two is moving. Keep in mind, this was already a multiplayer game that he adapted. So it was, you know, it had, you know, to do this, you know, the same way, it needs to be a game that's already been set up to support multiplayer. Uh, so, but the original basic code was on a single machine. Yeah, it was on a single yeah. machine, but it did have multiplayer, so you'd be able to take turns back and forth. Mm -hmm. uh, so this just made it so you can go over the network. Okay. And you're working on uh, playing around with Hangman. Correct. Right? I, I, I took it, I, I wanted to, when I was coming out here, I was like going, I want to make a game to do this. And I started out making a game with, with Hangman, and but then you know starting to add the FujiNet code yeah. and we kind of ran well, out of time. You'll, well, you'll have that on your channel. Yeah, I, yeah. I will be working on it. Continue. Yeah, I'll but keep working on it. But that's one of the reasons that Thomas Cherry Holmes did this reverse eye is an example to people. Correct. To see, you know, it can be done. Well, we all know it can be done, but how can it be done? Yeah, exactly. And he's laid it out here, and you can take that and then put it, adapt it to Hangman, mm -hmm. uh, and play over the internet. Yep. That's pretty cool. Yep. So until we get uh, like Berserk or something, you know, some two-player. It could Berserk's definitely be done. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need a two-player game. Uh, there's definitely some out there. And to be honest, this is in basic, but this could be done in assembly, no problem. Uh, oh, of so, so the idea, you know, uh, we could pick some, you know, start with this, and then we could pick some. So can, uh, can it be done with assembler editor? With the assembler editor. Um. Yeah, you probably could, but I don't know how fun it would be. <laughs> can you do it in pilot? Uh, can you do it in pilot? Uh, maybe that would be okay, interesting. That's, that's a that's a maybe. Okay. How can logo. you do it in Atari logo? <laughs> I don't know if he has a device handlers for it, but you know, okay. maybe. Uh, Max. Well, Max sixty five. Yeah. yeah, yeah assembly. Assembly. Okay. We'll put He's that just gonna. Do you have every programming okay. language over there? Well, basic XE. There you go. As far as I know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's see what. Basic XL. Can, can you do it in basic XL? Can I? Probably not, nah, but uh, yeah, we'll put not today. The, probably, but we'll put that one in the middle. Um, okay, action. I haven't even touched action. This would be some pretty good action for action. Have yeah. you ever tried writing anything in action? Um, decades ago. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, know, I never did. Um, now, we did cover yeah, assembler <laughs> editor. Yes. 
But about can, editor can it be done? <laughs> <laughs> Is everything reversed? Ed, you know, editor, in that one? Editor it's assembly. in Yoda speak, you know, yeah. editor assembler. <laughs> I believe this is just like, uh, do you have Star Raiders? Uh, I do. Do you have Star Star Raider? Yeah. Yeah, no, I do not. I have Star Raiders. But uh, um, Mr. Bushnell, it's missing the S. Yes. Just use it. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't matter. Well, I think it's funny is that must have been a prototype because it doesn't have the the model number on there. If it does, it's really small. Well, I I have two or three other editor assemblies. I'll have to see. It's crazy. It sounds a little loose. Loose, yes. Okay. So... And then if you're going to do in the basic, perhaps the monkey wrench will help you with it. Yeah, maybe. So, <laughs> I, I've uh, depleted my shelf. Yeah, all right. Well, no, there's still Microsoft Basic 2 over there. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm snubbing the Microsoft. Yeah, there you right go. There you Microsoft go. Basic 2. Uh-huh. Uh, that'll be twice as uh, something. Yes, twice as something. something. Yes. So, and uh, that goes along with uh, this one here the where they've cut off the guy's legs. For the two, for the that's his legs. There. Okay, that's the two moniker. <laughs> All right, we'll go with that. Okay, okay. Well, cool. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming by today. Oh, appreciate and, it. And yeah. Anytime. It was, a, was it yeah. an easy drive. Uh yeah, it was just about you know fifteen hours, so no problem. Oh, that's yeah. good. That's yeah, it's just a quick fifteen hours down here, so not a problem. Yeah.